Thank you very much. I do have to say, with all due respect to my colleague, um, just absolutely what? Click, 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 no. Never mind. Okay, so what a load of rubbish. <laughs> I absolutely, 13, he says it's maligned. Absolutely, it is insufficiently maligned. I tell you. Yes, it is the coming of age in some cultures. It is the time when people actually are said to become adults. But be honest, be honest, this is the time when happy laughing children turn into absolute monsters. <laughs> right? They are just clearly aliens at this point. Absolute aliens. And it's true, they might mutate back into reasonable teenagers. But, you know, you just never know if that's going to happen, because some of them never do. You may be lucky, your teenagers may actually turn out to be happy, but no, not all of them do. They really don't. And the name, I mean, the name, we get 14, 4 and 10, 6 and 10, 7 and 10, 9 and 10. I'll even allow 15 as 5 and 10, 13, 13. I mean, <laughs> it, it just what? I mean, where does, where does that come from? It just leaves me like this. And the thing is, it's not actually, I have to admit, it's not actually truly bad. It's just neither fish nor fowl. It really is neither of these. It flips, it flops. It's just neither one nor the other. It's like the puppy Cerberus guarding the gates to heck, right? I mean, it's just, it's, it's not really there. I mean, even in Italy, for example, 13 is in fact a lucky number. If you're gambling, it's an unlucky number if you sit down for dinner, but it's lucky if you're gambling. In, in Italy, uh, it's 17 that's unlucky. Like the 13-year uh, cicada, which is, of course is a really bad thing, but then on the other hand, there's the 17 and the 7, and, and you know, neither fish nor fowl. It never really makes up its mind. It's neither one nor the other. If we actually switch to math, real math, we have Wilson's theorem, which we know that we can identify primes if a, a number is prime, if and only if it divides this interesting expression that we have here. So take a prime, it will definitely divide this. Does it divide it twice? And this is called a Wilson's prime if p squared divides this quantity. And yes, 13, oh, and 5, and 153. And there may be others. Actually, we don't know how many there are. But it's, it's undecided. It's confused. We, it's, it's just really like a teenager. I mean, you just can't decide what to do. My esteemed colleague talked about dates. Well, let's have a look at dates. If we go into the 13th century, we actually find Genghis Khan, great. Uh, Second Holy Roman War, great. Uh, Baghdad was destroyed. If you don't like the, thir uh, the 13th century, let's go to the 1300s, where we have the Great Famine. We have the 100-year war. Well, actually, it's the 116-year war. Never mind. Uh, the Black Death, which wiped out a third of the population of Europe. Surely that counts as being reasonably poor behavior. Um, but then if you look at Friday the 13th, uh, yes, today, Friday the 13th, that's a great thing, but what about the bad things? Like, for example, the Knights Templar, Black Death, uh, the, the, I mean, the Buckingham Palace was, the, the Friday the 13th virus, for example, which made people very suspicious of computers, well, that's actually a good thing. Um, but then if we, that was the second worst stock market crash in history at the time, uh, the Costa Concordia capsized, and actually, worst of all, Rossini left us on a Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th is actually a bad day. Well, even now it's confused because some statisticians tell us it's actually safer on Friday the 13th. So, well, some statisticians do, they're undecided. Let's actually go to the, the, to the astro and look at the 12 constellations that we have. So clearly astronomy doesn't work because, oh, sorry, astrology doesn't work because uh, it, they've missed out Ophiuchus. But if you count Ophiuchus, you should surely count Orion. It's just as valid, so it leaps directly from 12 to 14, missing out 13, because 13 is a bad number. <laughs> we should not have 13. And indeed, the moon. Sometimes it's 12 moons in a year, sometimes it's 13 moons in a year. It flips in, it flips out, it flips in. It's, it's just neither one nor the other. If you count it, it's actually close to 12 plus 1 over E moons in a year. Um, <laughs> And people said to me, when I said I was going to do the anti-13 talk, they said, that's really easy. I mean, there's 13 witches in a coven. Well, no, that's a 20th century invention, if you go back to it. It's any number of witches from three upwards. Uh, there's 13 notes in a chromatic scale. No, there's 12 notes in a chromatic scale, because it cycles around and becomes the same. Uh, and in fact, the 13 doctors, my, again, my esteemed colleague talked about the 13 doctors. Well, let's actually list them.
there are in fact 14, because you know, John Hurt was actually one of the doctors. Within the canon, this isn't a separate thing, so there are actually 14. So, indeed, again, 13 here, stealing credit where it's not due, right? Uh, it is not a woke number. It is not the, the breaking the glass ceiling. Uh, the deck of playing cards. We all know the deck of playing cards. So let's, let's look at the deck of playing cards. One through ten, I'll give you. Uh, queen and king. Interestingly enough, the, the current deck actually comes from uh, France, where they actually threw out the monarchy, right? You don't have king and queen here, but I'll, I'll give you king. Jack? Knave? Where does that come from? Why do we have that? Just to make up the numbers? No. I mean, where does that come from? And we know the deck of playing cards is the tool of the devil. It is only ever used by complete wastrels and con artists. If you see anybody with a deck of cards, you treat them with deep suspicion, <laughs> right? Uh, that's, 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 if there's nothing else, that's the one lesson. Let's, let's look at the baker's dozen. It is not a symbol of generosity. It's actually people panicking because if you gave short weight, then you would be fined and thrown into jail or into the stocks. It's not a symbol of generosity. It's a symbol of panic and taxation. So, so it's not a good thing. Let's go back to the numbers. Yes, it's an earmark. You reverse it to get 31. That gives us a Mersenne prime. Double that up, double that up. We get 496. It's a perfect number. So actually, if you start from 13, it's the reverse of perfect, right? It's genuinely perverse, right? I mean, it's, it's just not there. And in base 2, we get uh, uh, 1101, which converts to Morse code. It's da 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 which is a Q, uh, which is never confident enough to stand on its own. It's always with the U. Or indeed, in Morse code, it's CQ, CQ, da 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 which is CQ. It's not confident enough to stand on its own. It is insufficiently maligned. In base four, of course, it's 111. If you multiply that by a perfect number, you get 666, the number of the beast, which, as we know, comes from Revelation 13, uh, of course. And if you look at the ASCII emoji for a heart, that's actually basically a broken 13. Uh, and so is 13 a broken heart, or is broken, no, it's a mended heart? Yeah, we don't know. It doesn't know. It is confused. We just don't know what's going on. And in, uh, go back to the classics, Shakespeare, in Much Ado About Nothing, Don John says that I am not a flattering, honest man, but it must be admitted, I am a plain-dealing villain. Thirteen? No. Oh, by the way, that's Act 1, Scene 3, which gives us another thirteen. Uh, it's not a plain-dealing villain. It's uncertain. It's unsure. It is unreliable. Eleven plus two is thirteen, but it's an anagram of twelve plus one. Right? Do not trust this, I say. So thirteen, good, bad. Well, I'm going to take the lead from Martin, and personally, I am going to remain completely skeptical. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> <laughs>